Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds where we are on Terra 2 and we are gonna talk to Sophia as I hopefully said in the last episode. I think I did. So let's go. We gonna... Oh hello boys. Gonna need to take the elevator up which will be good. Transfer 2. And here we are. So I think we're gonna need to take another elevator, I think, but this time without loading animation. Okay, call it in. Hello. Oh, you look a little bit like a robot. Nice riffle. Okay, I can't put it away. Ah, yes. And she has a new helmet, which is cool, right? It looks good. There we are. I guess no elevator music, but that is just fine. Girls? Ladies? Do you want to say something? Nothing? That's too bad. A nice little conversation would have been very, very nice from Nioka or Pavadi. But, well, if someone doesn't want to talk to us, we cannot force that, right? Okay, in we go. And let's see what the lady has to tell. I've just finished reading a report of your work on Monarch. The broadcasts have been silenced at last. Graham Bryant was a madman, a narcissist, and exceedingly dangerous. Colony is safer without him. And you broke it in alliance with the broker himself. Hiram Blythe is a valuable asset. Well done. Your work is exemplary. You've earned a place in the chairman's inner circle. Congratulations are in order. Now we introduce you to the chairman's plan. Turn your eyes to the screen. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, We've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. Guess Monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. 
That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I will hunt beasts until I'm out of ammunition, and then I'll fight a good long while after. But I am not about to mow down a crowd of innocent people. Then I suggest you find your courage. Or pretend you're hunting beasts. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. I don't understand. What did Edgewater to do to, to serve this? We are not gonna do it. You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. We're talking about human lives here. The dissidents currently occupying Edgewater answer to no one. They're an unknown, unpredictable variable, and I can't have that. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Are self-sufficient, they are not a strain on the coroner's resources yet. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. You're completely insane. No, allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. The answer is no. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you. And I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Okay... Go to hell? I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. It's gotta be easy. Bring them down! <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely the right decision, I think. I just cannot kill all of them. Let's see if we can actually get the hell out of here. Then this was the right decision, otherwise not. Okay, that was... I didn't expect all of them coming in. That was weird. But good, we killed them. That is nice. Well, killing is never nice, right? But this gives us time to loot them all. And this is what I think. I couldn't have... Just, you know, abandoned hope and kill them all down in the city. Nope. I couldn't have killed that water. That wouldn't have felt right, right? At least that is my opinion. What? Oh, okay, it's just a statue. Alrighty. So does he... Okay, why... Okay, they're smoking. Which you should not do. 
Alrighty, what does the quest show? Okay, just aboard it. Now we gonna need meet the contact. This is what we are. Or oh, Halcyon. This is something we can do too. I'm just curious. If I'm gonna use the elevator. I'm just opting for loot, by the way. Not by the way, but let's see if we are gonna be attacked here by the guards down the stairs, so to say. I wonder. It was a nice piece of action, right? Although I'm not certain right now if the whole city or the whole part here is now after us, which obviously could be possible. Hello, boys. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon. Okay, they have nothing to say. Let's then transfer. Okay, the good part is we are not being attacked, right? That is the very, very good part. Let me take a look to the map. This is, should be on our ship, right? Since it is there. But we can, on the other hand, do hand in this quest. This might we might be able to do today, right? Oh, no, wait. This is our ship, right? Let's see. No, we can just... Oh, it's all here. So let's hand it in then. As long as we can. Oh, no, it's you. I suppose you're here to collect your prize. Hmm? I really do have the worst luck. When I gave you this job, I never expected you'd be so damned competent. That's me, damned competent. Yes, go on and gloat. You've already ruined all my plans with your talent for staying alive. The tour's not real, friend. Board shut it down years ago due to unacceptably high rates of fatalities. So I greased a few palms and got the tour up and running again. I outfitted every beacon with a recording device. Live footage of dim-witted mercenaries dying in gruesome ways across Halcyon. Oh, imagine the ratings. That's no way this is legal. Oh, that's so sad. Can I have my hat now? <laughs> Okay. Fine, fine. You're entitled to your reward. Thank you. One certified explorer's hat, courtesy of the Bureau of Exploration. With my compliments. Oh boy. What a nasty boy, right? Okay. Um, I quickly wanted to go to inventory. Let's go to armor. Oh, that's a nice looking head. Okay, 53. Okay, that's an upgrade though. That's good. So in the off, I'm actually gonna equip everyone with that. Why didn't I do that yet? Let us do this quest, right? Um, I'm gonna do it smartly. Let's see if I go to region. And fast travel here. Okay, it's the unreliable. But the waypoint was out of the unreliable, right? I want to see what that is actually all about. If there's the quest actually we need to go. I guess we are going to receive a new run, right? If there's anything to do around the ship. That is the big plan. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. What? You're adjusting before you call. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Sure, what do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... And ask Junle to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here. On the ship. That's sweet. Can I help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like... like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Easy enough. We could um, head straight over, yes. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. I'm always taking you with me, the two of you. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. So we have another quest here. Let us quickly check if the quest is actually right here. Then this is something. Okay, that is something we will then do in the next episode, you guys. We are gonna accept her quest or whatever that is gonna be for now. That leads us right now to the end of this episode, you guys. And you know it. I, as usual, really <laughs> doing. I'm searching for loot. Really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this wonderful episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, oh, hello boy. And hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.